Hello, can the system be changed from within? Well, I believe it can, and I'll tell you why. When David Cameron had to resign as Prime Minister and leader of the Tory party due to Brexit, well done Nigel Farage, there was a leadership race um, for the next leader of the Tory party. And one of the favourites was Andrea Leadsom. She was a Brexiteer, unlike Theresa May, Vincent Price, who was a Remainer. She would have been more ideal than, say, a Remainer, Theresa May. Andrea Leadsom was a Brexiteer. Sadly, she pulled out of the election race. And I believe it was because she was spooked by a video. Hope Not Hate Spies and Creation, Britain First, Paul Golding, Jada Franson made endorsing Andrea Leadsom. And it spooked her. Went not the big boys in MI5 went to her. Or other agencies, even Hope Not Hate or Searchlight, telling her she was fanning the flames of racism and what was going to happen if she was elected Tory leader. Would there be riots? Would there be right-wingers on the streets? Probably the list is endless. That may have been put to her and probably ran through her own mind. And I believe, as well as being bullied within the Tory party, she pulled out. But my point being, she could have changed it from within. She could have pulled us out of the European Union on our terms. And from there, change would have brought more change. Like I've spoke about many times before. So I believe it can. The same as with Trump now. Trump set off on a good foot, but now is backtracked. And I believe what's happening, the, the flaw in all this with Andrea Leadsom as well. The flaw in all this is being attacked by the leftist shadow government, which is the mass media, what did Tyndall call it? A citadel of the enemy within, right? That's the leftist shadow government that really runs the show. Not directly, but indirectly. It, it sets opinions, it sets, uh, you know, the whole lot, whole agenda, doesn't it? It attacks people. Those without a backbone will crumble. Andrea Leadsom sadly was one of those. But could, can the system be changed from within? Could she have changed it? Well, the answer is yes. Of course she could have done. Had she stayed in the uh, Tory leadership race and won it, she'd have been the next Prime Minister. Like I've said, and I'll repeat myself again, we could have been out the European Union now and also implement more changes and so on and so on and so on. Trump, sadly... He's given in to the leftist shadow governments as well as that daughter of his. She'll be having a massive influence on him, especially regarding Syria. Trust me, she will. Not some secret Jewish cabal. It'll be here. Trust me. The shiksa, right? It'll be here. But anyway, can the system be changed from within? Well, the answer is yes. And also, further to my videos about the new ambassadors of British nationalism, what you need to do is when you organise with your friends and um, stand for local, in local elections, you want to push uh, a populist message, right? You, are, you uh, deliver a populist message to the public and nothing that could be deemed white nationalist or racist until you find your feet where you can then enter a populist party and change it from within. Because British nationalism now, our enemies, hope not hate Nick Lowell, Jerry Gable, says that magazine, the big boys in MI5, the media, the whole lot, they've done their job well, haven't they? They have destroyed us with their agents, their spies. I'm not even going to bother mentioning any more. You know they all are, Nick Griffin, Red, Richard Edmonds, but you're still hobnobbing with them. Bizarre. But anyway, they have destroyed us. They, they literally have. And at the moment, only at the moment... I don't believe it's a dead horse, or should I say, I don't believe it's a, yeah, a dead horse we can resurrect at the moment, right? So populism, right, does have its, um, what's the word for it now? I'll get back to that in a minute. Populism can save right, our aims and objectives. Of course it can. Like I've said, had Andrea led some, not bottled into intimidation or threats or whatever and being spooked by Britain first video endorse and as you'd probably panic because these are just normal decent Lord abiding people they haven't been through the mill like we have we've had a baptism of fire 
uh, when we enter British nationalism. They haven't. They're just normal people. We're not normal. We're battle-hardened, aren't we? So had she not, you know, pulled out and been spooked by Britain first, Jada France and Paul Golding, hope not hate spies, things could have been a lot, lot better because had she taken us out the European Union, more changes now may have been getting implemented. You see where they're coming from? So it can be changed from within and populism shouldn't be written off. Populism is the vehicle that's going to deliver British nationalism. Trust me, it will. Okay, thank you.